Hello everybody, welcome to another new video. As you can see, we have more paints and more paint reviews. Um, so this is probably a brand that you've never seen before. It's quite, I would say it's not one of those top brands that you see. It's a very fairly new brand um, and it's only available in certain regions. Uh, probably, uh, but you know, with AliExpress and everything, it's probably easier for you to get all, all sorts of paint. Um, this brand is called Martini. So there is no spelling mistake. Right? There is an I between the A and an R, so it's Martini. Um, and then in Chinese, it's, it's Martini. So um, it actually translates to the correct spelling uh, of, of you know, the drink, you know, the alcoholic drink that you have. This brand is a Chinese brand. This is the logo. It actually do have upgrade watercolor sets and everything, but I have not tried it. Um, this is the first time that I'm trying this brand. And the reason why I'm trying this brand is because they have this series of colors um, that they call um, Martini Yi Shu Jia Ji Shui Cai Yan Liao Fen Cheng Se. So Fen Cheng Se here means um, separating colors or layering colors. And in, in, um, in our term, uh, it means super granulation or granulating colors. Um, so they came out with a series here of about 12 colors and they all start with 700, um, 701 till 712, 712. Um, but what's interesting about this set is that they are named after um, celestial bodies like um, stars, planets, comet, comets, um, astro, um, asteroids, uh, constellations, stuff like that. So the thing about this is that I can't find a lot of information about this brand. Um, in fact, I think um, it writes here. If you look at the if you look at the paint, uh, the tube, you'll see that the Yuan Chan Guo Yuan Chan Guo here means per the country of manufacture is in Japan. So this company they don't make this in China. They they bought the paint from Japan and they filled it in, filled it up in China. So this is too high. Um, and, and as you can see, there is a website over here, but when I visited the website, yeah, it was like a broken link. So I can't find anything about this, this company at all. And this one, um, the code over here does not help as well. So when I try to scan this, um, yeah, it says that I'm supposed to like kind of lock in by, by the, to the system. Um, so seriously, I don't really have much information about this brand. Uh, as to which Japanese company made this, I don't know. And I don't, don't think they would ever tell you where they got their stuff from. So one by one, um, this one here, 701 here is called Uranus. Uranus is a planet, right? We all know it's a planet in the solar system. Series 1 color is made out of two pigment. One is PBK11, our lunar black. Uh, and PB15 colon 3, which is the phthalo blue uh, green shade. So it's supposed to be an opaque color. Um, I think, especially if you use it very strongly, because you you see that this is almost black um, and, and, and you can, in a concentrated fashion, you can actually see, you don't see a lot of things because it's just too much black, too much of that lunar black, um, in fact. Um, staining wise, I would say it's kind of medium staining because I was able to remove um, quite a lot of that. Uh, it's a very common mixture. We see in a lot, a lot of other colors, other paints. So for example, Daniel Smith, be, even before the super granulating mixture came out, they have this color called Lunar Blue. It's made, of, made out of the same pigment. And then we also have uh, recently, White Knights came out with this color called Dark Blue Shadow, which is the same thing, except that they use a slightly different uh, phthalo blue. So, there's just so many other brands uh, which has the same kind of pigment. There are so many other uh, colors that are similar. This one do have more uh, lunar black. If you can see the separation, it is very strong. And here as well. Um, yeah, but I guess it really depends because you have a lot of choices. Um, and depending on where you are, if let's say, uh, you know, if uh, Daniel Smith is cheaper for you, yeah, get the Daniel Smith. For me, it's a one upon five because I'm, I, I've seen this mixture. I'm not like thrilled. Um, this one over here, 702, is called Lucy Star. So Lucy Star is initially identified as uh, V886 Century or BPM37093. It's a white dwarf planet and it's possibly the largest natural diamond anyone have seen. So this, is, this planet is made from diamond. I don't know why 
it's like green. It's in series one. Um, it's a, supposed to be a semi opaque color. And also when you look at examine, you compare line one and two. One is before, two is after. You see a little bit of coverage um, when it's used in a concentrated fashion. Um, this color is made up of two color uh, of, of one opaque um, granulating color py42 which is the yellow ochre and pb13 colon 3 which is like the um, greener version of phthalo blue and um, it has it's very staining strong staining because we are we have phthalo blue over here as you can see can't really scrub off the color it does granulate very beautifully it's very interesting i quite like the separation um, in, in, I know especially when it's used strongly not so much when it's diluted because when it's diluted everything looks very um, um, like misty but um, like very it does not have very distinctive in the separation but when it is strong you see that very distinct uh, separation mass tone wise I think it's quite close quite close to this color uh, from white knights the green shadows it's made from entirely it's made from two like entirely different um, pigment pigments pbk11 and pg7 so yeah but i think it looks really close uh, when you look at the mass tone so i would give it four over five because of this like um separation um this one 703 is pluto so you know pluto used to be a planet in solar in the solar system it's no longer because it's too small it's a series 2 color made out of three pigments pb29 pr177 pg36 so we have one granulating color and two non-granulating color uh, we know pr177 the anthroquinone red and we have pg36 which is like kind of a phthalo green color um, this is kind of reminding me like this combination kind of reminding me of uh, daniel smith's uh, moon glow um, but the hue is slightly different. This one is very close to this mess, this one over here, the mess tone, or even the separation for this um, pits, 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 <laughs> gray. Oh, so sorry, I pronounced it wrongly. And it has quite, in, quite an interesting separation. As you can see, you do see that green, some red and blue all coming out together in a very, in a, uh, you know it very diluted so if you use it very strongly you don't see much it looks very very dark very like deep purple violet color but if you use it diluted you get a quite a nice separation so I'm giving it for over five because of this this whole look and then this one over here is called Ceres so Ceres is a dwarf planet so it's a kind of a small planet um, yeah don't know where it is Series 1 color is made out of PB29, PO73, and PG36. It's kind of like the, the Pluto because it's made out of three pigments. Um, and this one is semi-opaque, uh, trans, semi-transparent. Semi um, I think it's, it's still alright. Feel, I feel it's more like semi-transparent because at a higher concentration, you do get okay you know um and, and and a mass tone if you use it really really strong like you use very concentrated amount uh, of paint uh, use more paint than water you're gonna get kind of close to the black or a neutral tint kind of color um and i think it's kind of close to shadow violet because shadow violet also has a po73 in it so i think this is kind of emulating um, the shadow violet from daniel smith um, and um, I think that separation looks so awesome because you can actually see that green and the blue and the orange just come kind of just you know it just comes out like that um, very versatile because I think if you use it strong like with thickly it looks black you can use it um, like a black paint but if you just kind of drop it into like a lot of water it's gonna separate out really nicely so I'm giving it four out of five yeah um, this one over here is Neptune we, are, we all know Neptune is one of the planets in the solar system. Series 2 color. It's a semi-opaque um, color. It's made from cobalt blue, PB28, and PV19, which is our Queen Acridone Rose. So this is kind of a violet color. Um, I do not see a lot of separation. So I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't really like separate out. Like if you compare this to, for example, Vega, you see that the difference is so stark. I don't really see... Um, a very good separation from there. I don't know why. 
um, yeah, like a lot of water, nothing like the graduation, like with the gradient, nothing. So I don't, I'm not, I don't know what happened here. Um, but it has quite a very close uh, mass tone uh, to crimson purple from Supervision and um, from Lilac Mist um, from White Knight. Okay, so because for me, um, um, due to its um, not so spectacular separation, I am giving it 1 over 5. 706 is Psyche. So Psyche is also like a pink, pink color, pinkish, like magenta color. So Psyche is kind of uh, interesting in that it is a large N-type asteroid this is discovered by an, an Italian astro astronomer. And it's named after the Greek god Psyche. So this is an asteroid. It's a series 1 color. It's made out of PB29, ultramarine blue, and PV19, which is um, aquina, aquidone, um, pink or rose. It's a transparent color very obviously because these color these are quite transparent except when you use it like very strongly you get kind of an opaque um, it does cover some of some some lines um, so this is also a medium staining color as you can see from here that you can I can remove quite a lot of the colors but there are still some some of that over there the separation is so beautiful like I think it you know use it diluted you do see that two colors separating out very very um, uh, well um, but it's a very, very common mixture. So in fact, in Martini, um, other than Psyche, there's also another color called Girl Star, which I'll go through later, which is made out of the same uh, combination of pigment. Um, and it also has got, like, it's kind of really reinventing the wheel because it has similar, uh, you know, a tone, mass tone and separation uh, to Royal Purple from Supervision. Um, Imperial Purple from Daniel Smith and this uh, Mineral Violet from Roman Small. So these are from the same, like they made up of same color, same pigment. The hue is very similar as well. So um, yeah, I'm giving it 1 over 5 for lack of imagination and uh, yeah, just kind of copying the same color. And the next one here is 707. Okay, it's called Girl Star. I cannot find anything about Girl Star at all. So if anyone has idea an idea what girl star might mean, um, maybe it's an asteroid, a planet, or some kind of constellation, let me know. Okay, I'd like to know. Um, and it's in series 2, made up of, yeah, you guessed it, what we have seen um, just now, which is the Psyche, uh, PB29 and PV19, ultramarine blue, uh, queen acadone rose, they, they are the same. Um, also transparent, um, it has it's very strong staining. I don't know why. Maybe because it has a lot of PV19. It's very, very strong. Hard to remove. I'm not very impressed with the separation. There is some separation. I'm not sure if it's because my paper, it's it's like um, degraded um, and spoiled. So it's kind of like not working. But the separation is not it's not special. It's, it's okay. You know, I do get some like over here. You do see some. Um, it's also very common mixture. It has very similar mass tone and separation to this color, which is a, one of the a, one of one of a crowd favorite um, from Daniel Smith, which is Rose of Ultramarine. Um, so again, my my advice is if if it's cheaper for you here uh, where you are, you can get it as a dupe for Rose of Ultramarine. If you already have Rose of Ultramarine, don't have to get this one. Yeah. Okay, 1 over 5 for me. This one here is um, 708 is Wittenen. So Wittenen is a short uh, period comet and it has a current orbital period of 5.4 years. So you can see this every 5 years or so. It is in series 3. It's made up of uh, PB35 and PY138. So PB35, as we know, is cerulean blue. PY138, um, it's not a very common yellow, but I, I found this in Mission Gold and it's called Quino, Quino, Quinotelone Yellow, I think. It's a very bright yellow. Um, um, and this color is supposed to be opaque. So um, I think it's, it, you can actually, if you, if you kind of look at it, like compare the two lines, you can see it's a little bit opaque. It covers up, like the first line, number one, gets covered up a little bit more. It is medium staining because when I tried to scrub it off, um, I couldn't get, I, you know, I couldn't get the, the, the color of the paper. I could still see a bit of that yellow in it. Um, of course, it's granulating. And I like the separation. Like um, 
it separates out really nicely like completely into the blue and also the yellow so you can actually see what colors in there in the separation so I'm, I really really like that that separation um, the color one of the colors that I find that it, it, it is close to or like in, in terms of a mass tone is the Shire Green so Shire Green is made from two different uh, another like two different pigments PG18 and PY159 but it's kind of close it's quite close okay yeah, I quite like this separation. Um, mass tone wise, uh, it's a bit difficult to use because it's a very bright green color. But separation is beautiful, so I give it four over five for having such a beautiful separation. Um, the next one is Jupiter seven zero nine. Jupiter is uh, a planet, you know, the big planet. This four color is made of PV fourteen and PY forty two. Here over here, PV fourteen is cobalt, violet, deep and um, from Daniel Smith, the one I have here and PY42 is yellow ochre, the one I have here is from Schmincke so it's supposed to be an opaque color and it has, um, they all have excellent light fastness denoted by 5 stars, they all have 5 stars so I'm, I'm not going to talk a little too much about the light fastness over here uh, but I'll show you the light fastness test later on separation is beautiful, it's unique because it separates into um, a purple and a yellow, like a brown earthy yellow color um, that you, you I don't normally see anywhere uh, we do have ten, tundra, tundra orange that is um, the yellow ochre and potter's pink um, and a few others um, that we can find in the Schmincke series but this one here is a purple and an earthy yellow which is really nice it is a non-staining color as you can see it could get most of the colors out um, and because of the unique separation and because they use two granulating pigments I think this color to me is like a five like this this paint to me is a five upon five I, I really love this one um, and the next one 710 is Athena star there is this place there's this um, uh, asteroid called Pallas so Pallas is um, named after uh, Pallas Athena which is a Greek, Greek. Uh, goddess of wisdom. It's the third most massive asteroid ever discovered. It is in series 1 made out of PB29 and PR177. So these are the two colors that it's made from. So one, P of course we know PB29 is ultramarine blue um, and PR177 is the famous uh, and Antraquinone red, the one that is in um, quite a lot of uh, mixtures. And this this combination, um, uh, it, it somehow the color remains um, pretty transparent um, as you can see over here it's um, the rating given on the packaging itself and if you compare the two lines uh, you don't see much of a difference and I was able to kind of remove quite a lot of that color so it's non-staining um, it is very close, the mass tone is pretty close uh, to the violet shadow um, from White Knights, but the color, the pigment use are different. Um, it's entirely different. But I quite like the separation. This is the, it doesn't look too bad. Like you do see two two of them coming out. That that red coming out a little bit more. So I kind of think it's it's not too special. But yeah, there is some separation. I quite like it. So it's two over five for me. Um, and this one, 711, is called Make Make. So Make Make is a dwarf planet, second largest of what? are known as the classical population of the Kuiper Belt Object Series 1 color made up of PB29 and PR179 so it's made up of PB29 again and once PR179 um, and this color is co considered a, a transparent color pretty transparent if you use sparingly um, even at a higher concentration, you, you can see like the paper itself. So this is quite quite a, a transparent color. It has quite a nice separation. It separates out very nicely um, into you can see the two components, kind of a brownish from the PR179 and then that, that um, ultramarine blue as well. So in terms of mass tone, I think it's very similar to the hematite mist. Um, this is uh, from White Knights. It's made from different pigment, but it looks very similar uh, in a mass tone fashion. So I quite like this color. Um, yeah, but it's not a very imaginative combination. Um, and you see quite a lot of this kind of separation. So I'm giving it 3 out of 5. And finally, 712 is called Vega. So Vega is um, a 
a star. So it's the brightest star in the northern constellation of Lyra. So yeah, it's a series three color. Um, and it's made up of PB36 and PV19. So PB36 is cerulean blue, uh, chromium, um, and PV19 is quinacridone pink rose, okay? Um, and this color is supposed to be opaque, right? As you can see from that uh, triangle, the, the uh, rectangle that's opaque in color. I think it's probably due to the, the cerulean blue. Um, and it has medium staining as shown from here where I tried to scrub off, I could get some. And I quite like the hue itself. It's like kind of a mm, violet that is like a bit um, gray as well, grayish violet, which is very, very soothing to the eye. Um, it's quite unique. I don't think I've seen a hue that is like this. Um, and if you compare the separation, I would say that it's quite close um, to this one from White Knight, it's the Violet Mist. But this is make up, made up of an entirely different mixture of colors. Um, yeah, but it does separate out quite closely. And if you look at that separation, it's so beautiful. It's so unique. You see those two colors separating out very nicely. Um, yeah, so I would highly recommend this one. Even though these two mixtures, they are not very special because we, all of us, or most of us would have these uh, in our palette. Um, but this is pretty nice. I give it 5 upon 5. So there you have it, all the colors, in the 12 colors uh, in this uh, super granulating uh, series of colors uh, from, from uh, Martini. As you guys know, I always do a light fast test uh, on all the watercolors uh, that I buy and, and try and review. And I'm very surprised um, as to the light fastness. So I actually put them uh, put this one into it's a control i put this i sun this since uh, july last year i just took it out so this is control this is test right control test so can you see i don't think there's very much of a difference there isn't any like i don't see a difference yeah none i don't see very much difference they it is they, these are truly light fast so yeah thumbs up before i end this video i like to just kind of give a very fast summary of my my, my thoughts about these colors um i think these are very well made watercolors um separating colors some of these colors are just so beautiful um but i think there are a lot of purple so if you are like allergic to purple <laughs> or if you already have these because a lot of these purple colors are in fact kind of a rehash of what it has already what's already in the market uh, then don't get the whole set get you know particular colors that you really like and i did already you know in my um, in in the in the front part of the video kind of discuss about the the types of the, the colors that i really like um, so just feel free to get tubes of it um, the colors here are actually not exactly cheap so i i did find them on um, aliexpress um, but the prices are um, definitely not as cheap as the, kind, the, the ones that I got. I got this on Taobao, the Chinese Taobao. And the price is so much, there is so much difference in the price. Um, so if you really, really love the colors, um, just go get the tube. They have, I think, 15 mils and 5 mils. I have the 5 mil. I'm very impressed with the light fastness. Um, they, I think that they, they really did quite well in that aspect. And yeah, I think that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. It's a very long video. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And then subscribe if you like to see similar content. And then yeah, so see you again next week. Bye.